What's up, guys? What's going on? Can everyone hear me out there in Twitch land? Yeah, I just checked the stream. You can be heard. Awesome. Awesome. And can someone confirm that the animations playing on the screen are smooth and not lagging? Confirmed. Awesome. And Twitch chat can hear Discord chat? Yes, yes, yes. Bam. Right on. Well, hey, happy Thursday. Thank you guys for coming to Office Hours. Always appreciate everyone that comes to hang out for these. So, look, um, I received quite a few DMs over the past couple days of, uh, from some people. I don't know if they are in, in the house just yet, but um, I actually have been getting a lot of requests to go over the process for preparing a clip for Animate Diff. Like, the right way to, like, Take a video and get it ready so that you guys can get the best possible render out of Animate Diff at the end of it as possible. Similar to what you're looking at on the screen right here. Um, so I'm more than willing to, to jump around on this stream. Uh, oh, hey. Yes, Haven. Awesome. Well, we're going to cover that topic, bro. So if anyone has any questions as we're going through this, as always, I appreciate when the dis when the Discord crew chimes in because I love hearing your guys' voices and we appreciate the Twitch chat as well. I'm going to try to answer as many questions and help you guys out with this as much as I can while we are all together today. Um for anyone that did not know, let's start here. Um I posted version 3.0 of the animate diff workflow on my Civitai page. Um, I'm sure Daz will drop a link just in case he doesn't. I will do so right now in the Twitch chat. Boom. As well as in the Discord. So you guys both have the link. That is version 3.0. The main difference between version 3.0 and version 2.5 is we now have um, this reactor face swap node built in just a word of caution um since i have released this there people have been having a bit of issues with the reactor node actually installing via the comfy manager and unfortunately i had the same issues and the fix for me was to just keep uninstalling and disabling it and reinstalling it and restarting comfy and i think i had to do that somewhere between like five to ten times before it finally was like installed and I didn't get an error message. So just know that you're not alone there. I didn't do anything special to get mine working. I just literally kept uninstalling, reinstalling, uninstalling, reinstalling. But there is that. And then there are also these um, really cool switches that I added for the upscaler as well as for the face swapper where you can see that there's um, these little nodes just sitting in the groups for mute or bypass. And these nodes are connected to these fast action buttons. And you can as actually assign these buttons um, a couple different things and whatever you assign it. So if this one I have assigned to bypass, if I click bypass, um, it's going to bypass everything in that group. And if I click enable, it's gonna enable everything in that group so makes it super simple super easy and super fast to just like turn stuff off and turn it on those buttons are specifically for the upscaler and for the reactor face swap because you should not use the face swapper when and if your video does not have someone um looking dead into the camera the whole time if they at any point are turning and their like their whole face isn't in the frame. I would probably just put off using it because there's a better chance that it'll actually break your animation than help it. Um, and Earl Taku says tech support for Comfy. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on? And that is basically how we fix Comfy UI. So 
with that being said, um, it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it 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 be like that across every different aspect of our life. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on? So, version three of the workflow is out. Um, I also went ahead and made a full YouTube video that is linked in the description that will that goes through every different individual part of the workflow. Um, so that similar to what we do here in office hours, so that if you guys need a little extra help after this and there's like something that you didn't really catch or um, understand during the office hours, you can go refer to that video for the workflow and you can kind of like scrub through and everything's labeled. And um, I, put a, I put a lot of effort into putting this together so that all of you guys could have something dope to play with and hopefully make cool videos and not have a massive headache in doing so. <laughs> Excuse me. So, with that being said, the question I got asked was if I could go through the process of taking um, a video and how to actually get it ready. And hey, focus. Hey, there you go, man. Thank you. I was about to say. Um, taking a video and getting it ready and prepared for Comfy. So if you see here, we have this video of this dancer. This guy's name is Headache. He's a good friend of mine. I actually shot this video of him yesterday. So if we look at this version, though, Headache is completely removed from the background. And this is really ideally what we want for animate diff now there are a couple different ways yes his name is actually headache that is that is his that it says that on his birth certificate so there are a couple different ways that you can go about doing this you do not need adobe after effects adobe after effects is just my tool of choice you can do this in davinci you can do this in runway there's even a node in Animate Diff that will do this for you called Segment Anything, and it will do an auto mask. I prefer to do this in After Effects, and this is the way that I teach because it, you have the most control over your results, and you can get the most like detailed results, which ultimately lead to a way better render by the time this whole process is finished. And if anyone has any questions at any time, please feel free to just like, boom, jump in and chime in and ask away. If not, I'm just gonna bop, 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 bop. So, um, basically what we did here, and I'm gonna give you guys just like the quick Roto Brush 101 because I don't wanna spend too much time on non-AI stuff for you guys, but I know people wanna know because this is really what makes these videos so cool along with picking the right model and picking the right Laura's and all that good stuff, which of course you got to come to Civit for. So we have the full real video here, right? In After Effects, if we double click on the video, it opens it up in its own, as its own layer. This window right here is the composition, which includes all of your layers. This window is just that layer. We have this little brush tool that if you hover over it, it says Roto Brush. And when we select that, we can make it bigger, smaller, and it can be red or green. Red means you're subtracting stuff. Green means you're adding stuff. So what we want to do is we want to add everything under the ocean right now because all I want to do is remove the sky. So boom. We want his head in there. We have uh, focus. This is gonna this is gonna be um, posted on YouTube after after the the Twitch vod is up. I'm gonna download All it and right. post it cool, on the Civitai YouTube. So no worries there. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. So we have a couple different options in the Roto Brush here. 
And these are these little things right there, if you see where I'm moving my mouse. So right now we're on this purple outline where everything outlined in purple is what is going to be in our scene. If we click on this red one, well, this is an easier way of looking at it right now because everything in red is what is being removed. Right now, I want to remove the sky. He is shot against the ocean. This overall scene looks super cool. He's not some dude just dancing in his bedroom. I don't really care about, I, I want to keep some of the like elements in this video. And these are all things that I'm constantly thinking about when I'm trying to figure out like, what will, what will make this video work? What will work best in this? Do I want a completely AI generated background? Do I want a little bit of the real background? Do I want all of the real background? Because where they're actually, where, where they actually are is just that cool. That has happened before too. But so here we have the entire sky removed and we literally just from the very beginning of the clip, um, or just from wherever we are, we can hit play and it's going to go through frame by frame and you just kind of got to keep an eye on it and see if the red bleeds into any part of the dancer because while roto brush is ai driven i think all of us here can agree that ai is definitely not perfect so see right there like i noticed that when he boom when he moved his hand let me make the red a different color You can see, if I go back to the purple lines, this little motion blur on his finger actually isn't in it. So I'm going to paint that to bring it back in. And now I'm going to keep going. So little stuff like that goes a very, very long way in getting a really high quality output from Animate Diff. If your roto brush is janky, and so see like right there too. My eye caught the sky right here when his hand went in front of it, wasn't removed. It crept back in. So we're going to remove that by using the red part of the brush. And I'm turning it red by pressing um, option on Mac or alt on Windows. And I hold that down and then I paint it. But keeping all of this purple will ensure that like when this is all done, is this new in After Effects? Ike asked me this in Discord. Is this new in After Effects? This is not new in After Effects. This is a tool that, is, that has been in After Effects since After Effects was after effecting. Um, but this is their latest iteration of it, which is Roto Brush version 3. And this, whatever they did to the AI in this thing, is like... Man, I can't tell you how long something like this would have taken me to do in Roto Brush 2, let alone Roto Brush 1. I used to spend hours to do this to a 60 second clip. And now it'll literally take me like 10 to 15 minutes tops, period. And like you can see, aside from a couple little moments where he moves like really fast and it, and it loses the plot with like the clouds a little bit here or on like the sky. But as you go through and you fix things, it actually like learns what you're looking for and it starts to lose it less and less. But it actually looks like we lost some of the ocean there too at some point because the ocean was purple. So this happens a lot too. As the person moves and they cover parts, once they stop covering parts, it, um, it, it like messes it up. So... I'm not gonna make you I'm not gonna sit here and roto brush this whole thing with you guys because this is like this is mad boring and tedious and I typically have to like sit down and put some music on and do it that way to like get this done. So let me just save this here. Because you always want to save your project files. Boom. And we are, so you can see here, if I go back to the like actual composition, it'll show me what it actually looks like where he is in the frame, that background up to the horizon is in the frame, and then everything that's transparent would just be black. But to make sure um, Animate Diff reads this correctly, I am actually going to take this one, 
which I rotoscoped already. What's up? What's up, Tabalone? And what's up, Chris? Always appreciate, always appreciate you guys coming through. Um, we're going to take this one that, that I already rotoed, and we are actually going to add a solid, which is going to be our background, because I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So the solid is black. It's automatically going to place that on the top. We're going to move that to the bottom. And now we have our subject on a nice black background that Animate Diff will just go crazy on. Uh, De Dever, 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 sorry, Dever. I always want to say Dever. I don't know why. Um, if I could get you guys to queue up some photos, that would be awesome. Because we're going to get to the fun part in just a second here. And I know, I know you always got something good for me. Dude, I'm looking for whatever you want to see. That's what I'm looking for. But keep in mind that Headache is a bit of an edgy guy. We want to we wanna, we wanna keep him cool in this. Maybe we, don't, maybe we don't put the Mr. Bean face on this one today. And maybe we don't, we don't turn him into a full-blown woman. But if, if you want to, we can. If you want to see this as a woman... We can do that. His name is Rowan Atkinson. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our background, right? We put a black solid underneath the layer. And you can see that everything behind him, the checkered boxes, means it is transparent. If we turn on the black solid, now it's black. If we export this, it's not going to be transparent. Um, oh, the site, the site needs... Oh, the site needs fixing. Is the site the site down right now? Let's let's check. Let me try to refresh. All right. Well, the good news is if you want to go go get my 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 workflow from my page, um, this page is working. So if you need your Civitai fix, you can. Ooh, ooh, Dever, I like that one. I like that one. So what I want to show you guys though. Because this is a steady shot, it was on a tripod, there's literally no motion except for the dancer. We are going to give him a ground to stand on because as it stands right now, if we were to run this through anime diff, bro, yeah, can you guys aggregate some of the fried eggs photo for me? Like the, the fried egg thing is a SDXL Laura. So we can't actually use the Laura, but if you guys can either make me or grab me some fried egg photos. That's what we're going to do. Get me some fried egg photos. Um, we're going to add another solid here. And this solid is going to be the floor. And wait, I'm actually going to delete that because I want it to be white. So new solid. We're going to call this floor. Boom. And we're going to change the color to white. Now this is going to put a white solid on top of him. We're going to drag that in between the layer of him and the background. And then we are going to pull the position of it down so that he is standing on the ground. And then we're going to play it through real quick and just make sure that he's on the ground for the entire thing. He's doing his little MPC thing. And I'm pretty sure I got that perspective right because there was like a little ledge behind him. And... It'll be interesting to see if Animate Diff can tell that this is like a top-down view and actually get the perspective right when we run this through. So, this looks pretty good. I don't think he steps off of this at any point. So, good point. So, the floor in perspective. So, here, if we turn back on the... um, Wait, no, we'll turn that off. We don't want... The rotoscope to just like so okay let's put so this is the original video right and we put that on the top layer we're gonna turn down the opacity just enough so that we can see it and then we will take the floor and we'll take it we'll actually make it um 3d and then we can rotate it a little on it's access and move it up and stretch it 
out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Here. Nope. Stretch it. Boom. Ah, I think it's fine. So. Yeah, we don't need that. Because he's just on black anyway. So we'll see. We'll see what it does. So. Okay, we have our video. Boom. We have our dancer. Our dancer is on the floor. He has a black background. We are going to save this because we always save. And we are going to export this. And then we're going to take this into Animate Diff. So we're going to call this Headache for Animate Diff. I'm going to render this. Hey, we have a we have a pretty tall Twitch chat. Right on. Welcome everyone. Okay. Okay, there's a few things in here that I that I definitely want to try. So we're we are now going to jump over to by the way our... you're the most um watched us channel on Twitch by uh, right now. Are we? Are we really? Now. Yeah. How many Check. how many how many how many people does it say are watching? 300 and that's the most watch that's the that's the biggest art channel right now i can post the Go. green show no way that's so cool max justin you guys hear that i think I think one of them usually watches the stream we made it we made it we're big time now we made it to the <laughs> top boys hey hey nems Nems, Nems, we don't, we, we don't need that kind of negativity in here. We're the most watched our channel on Twitch. It's all good. It's all good. Instead of, instead of writing that, you could go make us a trophy. And <laughs> make sure you put 300 on it. <laughs> trophy Laura, go make it. Yeah. Tw Twitch Trophy Laura. That's what we need. That's what we need. 100%. So, <laughs> all right. So we got our little folder here for headache. We're going to make sure the video goes in there. And just so you guys are clear what I'm doing here, um, I, my, everything I do runs off of a Mac and then I have my PC hooked up to my Mac on my local network and I use windows remote desktop and I can literally just like copy and paste things from my Mac and PC back and forth to one another. And it's just as easy as that. Like I just, copy and pasted the video file from my Mac onto my PC and it's, it's here already. So, uh, just so you guys can, can see too, this was, a uh, something I was, I was working on to kind of get some ideas out of my head. So this guy's a really dope B boy. I removed him from the background, which because it was a top down view, the background was the floor and I put this spiral alpha mask behind him in after effects just the way I showed you guys. And I ran through a bunch of different things. Um, the IP adapter image I ended up landing on were these really cool arrows from a Sundance London promo and that I found just like browsing Pinterest. I put the arrows in all four of the IP adapters and my prompt was literally just graffiti arrows, geometric arrows, puzzle pieces. We used soft edge as well as line art and to so so here's a here's a good note. When you are using animate diff, if you are working with the black background, um sometimes stuff can get out of control and while we want a bit of surrealism and a bit of like wildness because that's that's part of the fun of making these kind of videos we also want to tame the beast a little because the the more this stuff advances the more we're getting away from just like the shock value of it being like oh my god the ai so we are using the control gif control net which if you don't know google it control gif gif control net um, you can find it on GitHub, 
And this one does not use a preprocessor, so it's literally just plugged into one of the control net loaders into a control net stacker. And we're using it at a strength of 0.2. And this control net is trained on video models and video footage. And it helps kind of like take a lot of the wildness and randomness that we can sometimes get. And it like calms everything down and smooths it all out. So I have that on at 0.2. And this was what I got from this output. And I actually ran three of these while I was sleeping. I ran an orange one, a red one, and a yellow one. And my plan is to like mask them and then put it all together. But it's all the same video and it's the same image. But I took the image in the Photoshop and just changed the, those colored lines around the arrows. And this is what it gave me. But you can see how the spiral is kind of like... That white line motivates the arrows to helps that Tyler is wearing a really low cut top. Thanks, Max. Thanks. Can do does does that mean that um that Civitai is going to comp me for one of the Civitai bikinis so we can also take the top spot on the hot tub channel. I think I think if 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 I had a Civitai bikini we could we could make that happen. <laughs> um but no so these alpha masks so like normally when we do the the alpha spirals we think more of like the QR code. I'm using the spiral here to motivate it to push the motion of the animation that Animate Diff is going to create in the black space behind the dancer. Because what I was thinking and what thankfully happened, the white part of the spiral is actually making the arrows kind of like fly out a little. So super cool. Um, something to think about. But let's load up our video here so we can start making some egg guys. Boom. Boom. And uh, just another side note, if you load a video in and the video doesn't change in your load video node, just hit the refresh button on your browser and then bam, you got your new video. So let's change this to our 50 frames. We're going to put this on our usual control net strength, which is 0.65 for soft edge with an end percent of 0.85 as well as 0 0.45 on line art ending at 0.5. So just to be clear on what this means for for those of you that are a little bit newer, the M percentage is how how many of the like what percentage of the steps each diffusion frame goes through is the control net holding on. So we don't want it to hold on super tight because the tighter we make the control net, the less creative animate diff is going to be. All right, so we have our dancer. We change our frame load cap to 50. It's because we only want 50 frames to test. And Ike, yes, this is Comfy UI, AKA the best plate of spaghetti you have ever had. We are using the animate diff motion module V3 because that one is the best. We are going to open up Discord here. I'm going to come into our chat. Boom, so I can grab some photos. And we're going with the eggs first. So um, this one that Chris posted with this hair is really grabbing my eye. So that's a great photo. That's like, look at that. I love the egg Laura, man. I think the egg Laura was such like a great idea. We're going to grab that one and we'll have some fun. We'll grab that one and we're going to grab this one from Dever that I really liked when I first saw it. And literally all I'm doing is pulling the images from the browser into my 
folder. And then we're going to start with the egg one. Boom. We're going to just put this one in all four. Or actually, wait. Um, someone, uh, I, need a, I need a background. I need a background. I need some images of landscapes or locations that do not have a person in it. I know you guys, I know you guys are sitting on a gold mine. You guys always are. Sunny side up, please. Thank you. Exactly. So get me. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Scroll down here. Okay, so we got a couple choices. Um, the circuit board, I think, might be a little bit of <laughs> the office. <laughs> the offices of Civitai. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. We're, 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 we're going to go the elegant route first before we get too crazy here. Let's, let's try to keep it a, a, little, a little bit elegant to, to start with. So, okay, this is the image. We're going to drag in two of those. Bam. And we are going to say, this is how we're going to describe it, right? A sculpture made of sunny side up eggs. Egg face, lots of egg yolk, um, modern living room background. We're going to try this. Boom. We're going to say this is a 3D render. We're going to try to use Photon here because we want this to be a little bit more 3D and on the real side of things. Bam. And we're going to bypass Laura's. We don't need any Laura's. We're going to make sure all the upscalers are turned off, which they are. And we're going to try it. And I can delete these right now. And while we are waiting for that, um, does anyone have any questions about the workflow, about Animate Diff, about prepping footage and picking footage about anything that you guys would like me to dive into and talk about while you guys have my full undivided attention. Boom, 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 boom. Keeping an eye on both chats. Why use Comfy instead of 1111? You, well, a couple reasons. One, um, I feel like the outputs from Comfy are actually better. And two, automatic 11.11, you're a little constrained to what you can do. Whereas with Comfy, because this whole thing is node-based, you can reconfigure and build your workflow to do exactly what you want it to do like exactly what you want it to do um i have already seen a handful of people take my workflow and change things and build things on top of it and my workflow is built off of inner reflections ai base video to video workflow that that was the skeleton for this and then this became like a monstrosity that just kind of like came to be after two months of slowly adding on to it because I'd be making things. I'd be like, damn, I wish, I wish that um, it could do this thing that this other workflow does, but I don't want to have to like bounce between two different workflows. So you can keep expanding it. Whereas in automatic 11.11, you're a little constrained. Um, the awesome stuff that Comfy does is impossible in auto. Exactly. Why con video control net builder, Tyler, what do you think are the best other checkpoint models? So the models I keep in rotation um, for are Hello Young 25D, Photon, Dark Sushi, and um, uh, Counterfeit. Counterfeit. And then I know a lot of people 
for realistic stuff really like epic realism and epic photogasm. For realistic stuff, I really, really, really like Photon. And Photon plays so nice with Animate Diff because the one thing, and I say this every week, all models are not created equal. Period. A, the, choosing the right model will actually make or break your animation. And it could cause you a lot of issues if you're not like thinking about that as the cause. <laughs> Pixel Pusher, I hate you. <laughs> um, there are, if you're not thinking about that as the cause, you could get stuck tweaking settings and trying to figure things out when really the answer to fixing your video all along could have probably just been choose a different model. Not all the models work well with the motion stuff, but Hello Young 25D, Photon V1, Dark Sushi, Counterfeit. I know a bunch of people really like using Mistune anime. Um, House Art asks, what does the load video upload node do in the IP adapter group of your workflow? Are you referring to this one right here with the black and white? So this is actually a mask node. And if you notice, um, it is not hooked up to anything. But if I was to plug this in to the attention mask and then run everything, it would actually only apply the diffusion and the IP adapter over the subject from the black and white mask in the node. So to use this properly, I would have to take the rotoscope I made of the subject, turn him into an alpha mask by just making him white on that black background we created in After Effects, load that in there, plug it in, and then we would get the diffusion only on top of the subject, leaving the background normal. Um, let's see here. We got a couple more. Oh, wait. Let's see how our egg came out. I hope this is good. I hope this is good. <laughs> this... This wasn't as good as I hoped. <laughs> this definitely was wow. not as good as I had hoped. We have an egg sun. It got the perspective of him all kinds of funky. It just made him look like a small person. And these are the kind of things that you got to learn how to work around. So check this out. This is what we're going to do. We are going to move away because this is high quality footage and he's pretty well defined. We're going to move away from such a tight control net scheme. And we're going to try something a little bit more abstract. So we will turn on depth. We'll leave depth at 0.35. We will turn line art down to point. 2.5 and then we will actually still leave on the control gif checkpoint and we will try that we're going to alt and drag this guy out here in our group called preview or test gallery so that this is there and now we can compare our generations um let's see i know we got a couple other questions here Do you try to make videos also not based on human subjects, or do you think that these are the best use cases for Animate Diff? Um, actually, if you, if you want to see a lot of interesting use cases for Animate Diff and Mad Hatter on Twitch, yes, this is Animate Diff. If you want to see a lot of cool use cases for Animate Diff, um, you can check out our good friend Pixel Pusher on Instagram, he makes a lot of things that are not human subject based. And he also does a lot of stuff in SVD as well as Animate Diff. Most of what he does is text to, text to image or text to video. And you can also go check out um, Gertie Got It, who was our good friend that created the statue trend over the summer that got like bajillions of bajillions of views and was like its own little cultural zeitgeist for a minute on social media. 
Gertie has actually been doing um, animate diff videos of animals that have been super, super cool. Um, he's been making like croquet. He's been turning like bears and birds and stuff into like croquet animals, you know, like knitting, like yarn, and they look super cool. So I think there are a lot of different use cases. I am just very um, committed to street dance and it's kind of like my niche and it's what I'm really passionate about. So that's why you find me always working on the dance videos. And it doesn't hurt that social media really likes the dance videos as well. Um, let's see. Marcus, in Comfy, you enable disabled parts of the spaghetti. Yes. Yes. So everything you see in purple are things that are currently disabled and bypassed, and we can turn them on and off at any time. Most of it has to do with upscaling or face restoring. Marcus Aurelius got a lot of the questions. I want to know the next goal. Fixing faces, lip syncing, or perfect upscaling without changing the subject details. I love the creative you are doing at the inputs. How can I do good lip sync? Have I tried seg face and lip sync? Okay, well, one, I have not tried the space control thing yet. Two, um, I personally try to make an effort to stay away from anything that involves moving lips. I personally just like it. It's such a hassle to wrestle with. Um, and it's not always guaranteed. And all the footage is so like every video is so different that I just like. It's something that I don't want to really dive into until the technology is a little bit better. I know there are a lot of people that are doing it already. I've seen things with the lips moving, but even when the lips are moving, they still feel a little off. And until it's like perfect and really nice, I don't really want to like, because I know that I will sit here and for hours I will fight with it to try to get it to be perfect because we did that with warp in warp fusion. We would sit there tweaking our control nets and everything for hours to get the lips to move. And no matter what, it still just wasn't perfect and it still looks a little unnatural. And until it can look natural, I'm not, I'm not really wanting to like fight with it. Okay, so changing the control nets didn't really help our face at all. I was hoping the face would get a little crazier. It made the background more crazy. Now we got like, the egg yolk flying into the egg sun disco ball soccer ball thing in the sky. So let's 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 move away from the eggs. Or actually, let's come maybe maybe it's the the background picture that's throwing it off because that's the shape. That's whatever. Let's try combining the egg guy with the fire guy. Um, flaming wait, wait, wait. let's say a muscular sculpture made of sunny side up eggs egg face and let's try um flaming egg body Try this and let's see where this gets us. I'm gonna go. I kind of like the more controlled ones that are coming out. Boom. And then we can make sure in our IP adapter that it's pulling the right parts of the image. So, yeah. This one, these are pulling from the padding, which means it's pulling the entire image. Um, this one's pulling from the padding as well as one from the center. So it gets a little bit closer on the face. So let's see what this does for us. And while we're doing that, egg face might go better in reactor. Chris, you are a genius. See, see, man, that's why I need you guys here. So let's, let's do this. Let's cancel this. 
cancel this and let's turn on our reactor. And then we're going to get our boom, our egg face. And we are going to run it through again, but with the egg face in the reactor face swap. See, man, I like, I always forget to use the reactor node if it's not a real person's face. And let's see, we got a couple things going on in the Twitch chat. Um, can you use Laura's on videos? You absolutely can. You absolutely can use Laura's on videos. In this particular workflow, there are five, you can have up to five Laura's working for you. So that is a thing. Um, research this a lot and tried a few things. My stuff never looks that great. Matter Hatter, it is a magic combination of picking the right video, um, using the right control nets with the right strength, using the right model, and also having a good prompt. So you need to, and it's also worth noting, um, in my negative prompts, I'm using quite a bit of embeddings. And the embeddings drastically help the animation clean up and come out better. So I'm using Bad Dream, Bad by Bad Artist, Cyber Realistic, even though we're not using the Cyber Realistic model, it still helps with the generation in general. Um, negative Dash Neg, Unrealistic Dream, Bad Hand V4, Easy Negative, and ng deep negative and these you can all find on civet i believe if you um if you go on civet and you pull up the embeddings and you filter it by embeddings and you filter it by like most popular these are probably somewhere they're all sitting somewhere in the top 10 um and then let's see let's go down the twitch chat here Yeah, lip sync is definitely not fun right now. Da, 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 da. Second IP adapter with face model would work as well. So, so IPIV, who mentioned a second IP adapter with a face model. I have tried that, sir. I tried that. And what we found before we landed on the reactor node was that the second IP adapter with the face model and using face pictures in that IP adapter actually broke the animation. Even when that IP adapter was turned off. If you are able to get good results out of it somehow, please let me know. But using the IP adapter um, for the faces, when it was turned off, it was doing something. Because I immediately... And we discovered that in the office hours, I think it was two weeks ago. I was like, wait a second, let me try this. And I went back to the workflow right before I added that IP adapter in and use same video, same IP images, same prompt, same everything. And the generation just came out so nice. It was actually um, this video, this one right here. I just, I was not getting anything that looked anywhere close to this cool in this video so definitely something to keep in mind um as you add things into the workflow if stuff starts breaking drop in a drop in a png and revert to the last one and try again it just because then like you can kind of figure out what's going on by process of elimination <sighs> Oh, Irotaku, Tyler, tried using control net media pipe face for lip movement. I have not. Is that, can you drop a link? Is that on the hugging face for the control nets? Or is there a link to that on Civit? Can you drop a link for, got it. Is it on Civit? I would love if we had a Civit link for it. 
All right. All right. So, what do we think of this version of Eggman? How are we feeling about this guy? Yo, that's fire. <laughs> I like how as he like comes down and he starts waving up, his shirt almost turns into like a toga. <laughs> his breasts are turning into eggs though. Yeah, his like his his chesticles are turning into egg yolks. And then something about something about AI man. Um it likes putting that thing right in the center of the video. Oh bad hatters. Said. Maybe that's a secret. This this is 1.5. Um, everything I do, I do in 1.5. I find XL to be just like a very difficult beast to wrangle to get what what the type of stuff that I want and to get it to be like really creative. I've seen people getting great results in SDXL with um. Here, wait. Let me actually let me actually show you guys this. Um, I reposted it on our Civitai Twitter account. Which, if you're not following, go follow us on Twitter at Hello Civitai. Um, check this out. Inner Reflections, who wrote the really great article on the vid to vid thing for um, Animate Diff, she made Star Wars, but in. I have you know. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want the volume. She made Star Wars, but in this like super cool claymation style. This this is in SDXL in Animate Diff, in uh, with um Hotshot XL. She she has this like on lock. She knows how to do this, and she does it super super good. Wallace and Grummet. That was that was the name. I like it was on the tip of my tongue. I forgot what it was called. But isn't this super cool? Like it it looks so good and. Your 3060 will blow up. It probably would. It definitely probably would. But okay, let's try one more combination here before we gotta we gotta wrap up. Let me go back to the Discord and see what we got. Um Oh. Oh, we gotta do it. I'm so, I'm sorry, headache. We gotta do it though. Yeah, I do it. Buff cat. Buff cat and Buff cat and watermelon man? No, nah, let's just do buff cat. We just want to see what the buff cat looks like. You don't got to always overcomplicate things. Let's see. Boom. 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 Okay, we're going to say the most muscular cat in the universe. And we're going to run it. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. We don't we don't want the cat to have the egg face though. We don't want the cat to have the egg face. So we're going to click our bypass button, boom, and just bypass that. Now we run it. And Erotaku, thank you. I'm going to look into the media pipe, and now I will run a test with some lips. Oh, you have a face? You have a face? Even better. See, man, you guys that come every week, like Militant Hitchhiker, Dever, Daz, like... Erotaku, I can always count on you guys to have just some, like, dope images for me. This is great. Or cursed. Or cursed. But, I mean, are they not one in the same? Boom. And we are going to are they though? put that in there. And bam. So let's see. Um, does anyone have any questions about any about like any of the stuff I I went through at the very beginning about preparing the the video or anything? Um, 
Oh, Ike, as a noob, I'm completely lost on where to begin learning all of this. Do you have any recommendation for a new person on the subject? I'm completely lost on where to begin. I actually do. I actually do. So, um, if you go to this page right here on Civitai, where my workflow is, and you expand the description, and you, go, you scroll down, there is a guide to an article on Civitai that will take you to the article that Inner Reflections AI wrote about starting with Animate Diff in Comfy. And in that article, she breaks down every node and she explains what everything does and she breaks down how to install it and she does the whole thing. And that article is the single thing that helped me get really comfortable in Animate Diff to the point where now, like, I'm moving and grooving. But it took me a minute. But that article will very much help you. Um, Tyler, I'm uploading a workflow now that does video input masking and control net. It outputs control net videos that can be loaded straight through a video loader into control net. Yes, man. Upload it on Civit. And then let's maybe next week on the stream, we, we test that out. Oh, um, so simply focus. You can do what Yurotaku said, but if you want to actually have these, these custom buttons, um, you want to go into your comfy manager and the custom node is the RG3 node pack. All right. Hello. So yes. What's up? Sorry. Sorry. I'm from Brazil. My name is Alex and I, I, I'm need your, could you share the link for CVT AI please? Oh yeah, man. You're, you're in the, you're in the discord. Um, if you yes, just, I, 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 I just get inside discord. I'm sorry. I am an old guy. I'm a 54 years old guy and I'm, I'm, I'm near in this. It's, it's, it's this all, it's all, it's, it's all good. It's all good, dude. If you look in the top, right. <laughs> Pixel push sorry. If, if you know, you're a, 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 it's all good. That, that, is, that is, you are who we are here for. So in discord right now, in this screen where you see all of our, all of our faces, you'll see a little, um, a little chat, chat bubble. If you click on that, okay. it'll open up, it'll open up the chat and someone actually just posted the link to the website for you. Okay. I, I saw it. I, I saw it. Oh, thank you very much. Thank no, you very much. no problem. There is also at the very bottom of the, the Civitai page in the, like the bar that's located at the very bottom of the page, there is an education hub with a glossary to help you get caught up on like what all the different terminology is and what everything means. And this, this goes for, for anyone. If you guys need to get caught up on just like installing stable diffusion or like the basics of image generation or anything like that, go visit the education page. And then over the next, like within the next week, week and a half, we're going to start having our tutorials come out. That nice, I'm going to be nice. that that I'm going to be making for you guys that are going to be for complete beginners. So we got you guys. Thank covered. you very much, mate. Thank you very much. You you made an old guy very 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 happy. <laughs> Sorry about hey. my English. I know. Hey, it's happy a, to have you, dude. Your English yeah, is man, perfect. Yeah, man. Your oh, your no, English no. is <laughs> your English is perfect. It is no problem. Um, someone just asked me. Are there advanced tutorials? I need more VRAM and need my second card to work. Well, it sounds like you need more VRAM and need your second card to work before you need the advanced tutorial, but there are going, so the plan is in, um, just, uh, <laughs> this, this is great. This is great. This is, I'm going to get back to what I was just saying in a second, but this, this, this is the W of the wow. day right here. Tell me, cross, CrossFitter cat. <laughs> ah. 
so also as a side note, if you have <laughs> tiny bit of VRAM, so like eight gigs, you can still run animated diff and or the forum in automatic. You need a little bit more for this kind of crazy stuff though, but you can definitely pull it off with only eight gigs. There are ways. There are ways and and um if you need help running stuff with low VRAM, don't be afraid to come into the Civitai Discord and ask people for help. There's and collabs, there's workflows that really um uh that really help you out. Okay, guys, you are amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you hey, very much no, 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 no problem. We hope to see you in here again. And dude, browse the site. There's plenty of great stuff. Once you get up and running, you're going to be addicted. I promise you. I know I'm addicted already. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you very much. Have a nice, have a nice day or night. I don't know. I'm in Brazil. <laughs> hey, take care, man. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So. On that note, guys, we just hit our hour. We're going to wrap it. Version 3.0 of the workflow is available on my Civitai profile. Go download it. The tutorial video is there. Um, from this point going forward, any tutorials I make are going to be on um, the actual Civitai YouTube. That's the plan. Is like... I'm going to be making a mixture of like basic stuff for stable diffusion and to help you guys get going and to help you guys get installed as well as mixing in um, more advanced things as well. So we're going to find a nice balance of tutorials for the beginners and tutorials for some of you guys that want to get into doing more stuff like this. So with that being said, guys, Thank you, as always, for coming. If you are not following us on Instagram, it is at HelloCivitai. We are at HelloCivitai on Twitter or X. Sorry, it's X. Um, and yeah, man, uh, I appreciate all you guys. And hopefully you guys got something out of today. Uh, today, the VOD that Ali did over the weekend um, is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So. Check that out because Ali like went into to what what was it fusion 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 she he went into something really dope and that vod is going up today and my vod will this vod will go up shortly after so um come refer back to this one if you guys need a little help in the after effects section and feel free to DM me anytime I. Focus, focus. Thank you, Irotaku. Focus, focus, focus. Focus with a bunch of O's. Focus, focus. Thank focus, you. But, um, yeah, man. And then uh, I, be I believe we're having I, I, I believe we're having a special office hours tomorrow with the big man himself, Justin. So um, look out for that, where we're just going to talk about general site stuff and updates and things that are happening. So yeah. I appreciate you guys. You guys can find me on Instagram at jboogs.creative, but hit us up at Hello Civitai on everything. So, peace. peace. When, when, uh, when will Justin's uh, office hours be? Um, it's tomorrow. It? It's, it's tomorrow. I'm not sure what time it is, but if you just um, ask in general, they'll, they'll let you know. Okay.